I'm so bored. Darling, I'd love to, but it's family night. I'm out with my sister, the family lawyer, and there's always Juliet. Oh, oh I've had so much confetti thrown at me, I feel like a flaw in the Atlantic. <laughs> Mass exhibitionism, Juliet. An oh. escape for the mob. There's Larry. Where is it? That's no way to take in the Mardi Gras. Yes, I know it, my darling.
short pants. What? Over there? Well, nothing. I just said I hadn't been to a circus since I was in short pants. Oh. <laughs> Razor, 40 cents, a pretended to send a dollar 98. I didn't know you needed money. Why didn't you ask me? Well, I didn't realize it. Stop this fooling. You've got my ticket. <laughs> I think that chap was trying to rip me. Oh, no, Henry. Yes, yes. I had an experience once before with one of those boys in New York. Yes. Oh, yes. really? Only he was very clever. Yeah. At the oh. end of the performance, he made an American flag come right out of my hat. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> in New York. <laughs> <laughs> go, I guess. Oh, I hate these Mardi Gras. You can't tell the actors from the customers.
half hour ago, I kissed her. You kissed her? Yes. Never dance better. Oh, thanks. It's something in the air. <laughs> Nothing. I just have a bit of a headache. I'm going to get something for it. Want me to come along? No, thanks. It's just one of those sudden attacks. Oh, one of those. Then maybe I'd better go along. Oh, Henry. Hey, hey, have a heart. <laughs> I didn't know you so well. I think you'd have one too many. What's the matter with you? You've been crazy. Oh, I don't know his name, Muggins, but he knows how to kiss. How do you sell them? Now, Larry, you know perfectly well you can't get aspirin in a flower shop. No. Those roses. Well, oh, they're just in fresh. We call them climbing Herbert Hoover. And you can't send roses. They mean... I'll take the last. Oh, yes, sir. There are four dozen. I object. Objection overruled. Four dozen climbing Herbert Hoover. That is practically inviting a breach of promise suit. I wonder if I'll ever see him again. What are you talking about? Look, it happened just like that. I'll take you about it off of the show. Well, you'd better. Now, look, Henry. You've done your duty by Aunt Barbara. Now, you don't want the long play. Four dozen climbing Herbert Hoovers. Would you deliver this to me? Miss Sunny? Yeah. How did you know? Well, if it weren't for Miss Sunny, we'd be selling peanuts around here. Oh. My friend Hector here does the most remarkable trick, extraordinaire. It's French. He thinks he done filthy whistles, he juggles, and draws the new map of Europe with his tail all at the same time. Which for tonight only. We will skip. Uh, uh, no, 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 Hector. I insist. I insist. I insist. Come right back up here. How's the headache, dear? I'll be all right as soon as the aspirin begins to work. Well, what was it to be? Supper in her private tent with an elephant pouring champagne? Might be exciting at that. Yes, the jaded palace.
Barbara. You're going to stick to the rest. You can postpone your little headache until tomorrow night. She'll still be here. Let's go, shall we? Oh, Larry, you're so reckless tonight. Yes, it must be something in the air. Let me have my coat, will you, Henry? Muggins, it's out front. I can hardly believe my eyes. I wonder if you'll come back. I suppose that's his idea of a nice apology. He has nothing to apologize about. I asked him to kiss me. You did what? I asked him to kiss me. Climbing Herbert Hoover's. Muggins, I'm going up to your best dress out in that howling mob. Oh, you should see him get me through that howling mob. Monsieur Warren, je vois nous. Il y a longtemps que je n'ai pas vu. Comment allez-vous? Yes. Frank. Yes. <coughs> this is my sister, Miss Warren. Miss Warren, meet and Mr. Bates. Any friend of Mr. Warren is a friend, friend of, of the Ah, uh, Larry, we'll be back in a moment. Yeah. Je vais vous chercher une table. La plus bonne. La plus bonne de ma tante est très bonne. I know that one. <laughs> Now, Larry. I'd be very nice to this little Juliet girl. Well, of course, why not? After all, the runny needs, you know, they don't grow trees. And you're Aunt Barbara. Look, Henry, for 364 days out of the year, you can be Aunt Barbara's watchdog trying to run my life. But tonight, why don't you relax and have a little fun? Be a Swiss guide and go yodeling through the gas. <laughs> yodeling? <laughs> Fancy yodeling at my time of life. <laughs> yeah, de la la You will all start off with our famous deluxe oysters, of course. Oh, not for me, thank you. I don't care for oysters. Oh, you haven't tasted a deluxe oyster. No, and I don't think I shall. I think I'd rather have some, uh, some uh, turtle soup. You won't like it. My dear sir, please, don't argue with me. I am a lawyer. And I'm a chef, and I can recommend you the oysters. But I hate oysters. But they don't taste like oysters. Well, I don't want oysters that don't taste like oysters. I want turtle soup that does not taste like turtle... Larry, 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 listen, I've lost him. Please, Dolan, please. Hello, hello. Are you sure, Freddy? I've been here since four o'clock and nobody's been around. Hello? I'd like to speak to Miss Sally Sullivan. Morgan, somebody wants to talk to her now. She don't want to talk to anyone. She's got a date. She's gone. She's gone. All right, thank you. I'll put your oysters on the fire. Turtle, soup. Still no sign of him. Oh, you sure, Muggins? You know what they're like out there. I'm only telling you what Freddie told me. He's been on duty since four o'clock and he never slips up. Oh, I'll have those sent over to the hospital. With a gracious to pleasure. You were right, Muggins, as usual. Down with three. I got two. Next time we'll play without cheating. Professor. Honey, remember that rain check? That I do. Well, it's raining. Stood up? Mm -hmm. Best time, and I don't like it. How about some coffee and donuts? Coffee and donuts? Egghead, bring along that breakaway suit of yours. We're going places with Sonny Sullivan. <laughs> Oh, oh, let's go someplace else. Oh, no, sis. This is the best food in the country. All right, well, I am famished. What is it, Larry? A horse. Why, well, Elizabeth, it looks like the horse that Sonny rode in the circus, doesn't it? No. <laughs> This is the mama of Seabiscuit. <laughs> Oh, 
oyster still wash, of course. Of course. I'm awfully sorry that I had to be so firm with that oyster peddler, but I was determined to get what I wanted here. The turtle soup, sir? Oh, thank you. I don't believe you like the rush. I do like it. I do. In his place. But I think it's the place of every good restaurant to realize that the customer is always right. Even when he's wrong, he's right. Ah! <laughs> Wait! Wait! Oh, Tommy! What do you want? A little bit of everything. I'll be off and drink. What's the matter? Have you seen a ghost? think of me for breaking my date, but I have a very good reason. Yes, I saw her. Yes, you saw her. Well, now, if you don't mind, I'll get back to my friend. Ah, uh, but I do mind. Sonny Sullivan, you're going to have supper with me. Oh, am I? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In the stars. No, that's not fair. You know very well an Irish girl who'd want to cross even one star. Oh, come on, let me show you how to get a ten-course dinner in New Orleans without ever leaving the sidewalk, all right? Oh, not a bit hungry. First party scream! Here comes the first course. No. Have a taste of the Louisiana shrimp? No. Smell. Funk. Got Just a place to get the next course. Automobile magnets, me? I'm just a hard-working engineer. Well, how about Warren Moses? Oh, that's my aunt Barbara. Oh, it's all in the family. Yes. You know, the Warren family's been in the automobile business for over 25 years. Oh, upstart. What? You know, the Sullivans have been in show business for over 300 years. Oh, hello. My sister could have only heard you say that. <laughs> Evening, children. We got leg, wing, breast, ham, and home. I'll take wings. Same for you, sir? No, Mammy, I'll take a half. I'm not the type for wings. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, Ken. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, what have you got there? It's Eustace. Eustace? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I mean, most girls would be afraid if they saw them up. Hello. <laughs> You're doing well. Aunt Baba will be delighted. There, Juliet. 
You know, Egghead, lots of men have told me that they're in love with me. Really? Uh-huh. You don't think my money has anything to do with it? No. Uh-huh. What kind of money have you? Oh, about two million. Two million? Dollars? Two million dollars and you run around like that with holes in your clothes? And... Where's Sonny? I wouldn't know, my good man. Egghead. Oh, uh, uh, Professor uh, Bunny Billings, Miss Juliet running me. Oh, what could have happened to her? Oh, a sister's all right. I wouldn't worry about her. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let your star fall down for shocking the town is all that you do. That's a good memory. Smiling all the while, come boy. Where'd you get that smile from, boy? Little sunny girl, be my honey girl. I'm for you. Da 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 da. I'm for you. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> now let's go search for some dessert. We should have brought egg here. His back pocket's always filled with coffee ice cream. <laughs> I was planning on grapes and zest. I've got a better idea. This time you follow me. Right. But why do they call it Mardi Gras? Well, because it's Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday? Yeah. Last day you can eat all you want. Oh, oysters, Rockefeller, Coubillon, Gumbo, Crepe Suzette. We'd want to eat a Crepe Suzette if they could get an apple taffy. A taffy apple? Uh-uh. Apple taffy. Everyone knows that. Look, I come from a long line of taffy apple leaders. The Warrens were noted for it. So don't try to tell me about a taffy apple. You don't even know how to eat one. You no? Know? Oh, oh. No true apple taffy eater would ever begin by biting into the side of it. Why not? That's the spirit of adventure. Now, an Irishman always starts by biting the top of the apple. All right. Apple, 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 you win. But only because I don't want to spend the last hour of mine to go arguing about a tap here. Apple, tap. Only one more hour. Mm-hmm. At 12, the bells of St. Louis ring out the mine Under Cinderella hated clocks. What? Night the end. Dreams would live on the rays of the moon and die as soon as they set eyes on the sun. Hey, that's good. <laughs> well, it ought to be. <laughs> A little bit of meddling bluebird. Do you remember the first time you were thrown into my arm? Just about a hundred years ago? Mm-hmm. That couldn't have been just an accident, could it? Well, the side wasn't too comfy. Oh, all right. Where are we going? French market? Come on, you'll see.
performance at your age. I can't believe it. Well, you expected me to get married sometime, didn't you, Morgan? No, I didn't expect you to be picked up and kissed by a strange man and come home engaged all in the same night. Oh, what a night. <laughs> Louisiana shrimp, fried chicken, apple taffy, and the Mississippi. That's not love, that's indigestion. You're on, Miss Sullivan. Here it is. going to marry? The one with the pipe. Two jolly blue boys, two tried and true boys, they call me Sam Garth. I'm Jack Garth. Ha ha. Talk about women, they fall for a golf. Can stick to your job, kneel down and swore. Say, really, go blimey. That's new from a limey. Eh, beat me, say, the race is a bar. We do the hornpipe when Neptune gets rough. No boogie-woogie. Uh, the hornpipe's all stuffed. <laughs> Baba. the Maharaja. Aunt Baba. Well, he must have been in love with me because the day I left, he got himself engaged to eight lovely girls on the rebound. I told her to be careful of that one. I'm sorry, madam. I was a little startled. You better get him off right away, Johnson. Uh, yes, madam. Oh. All your lovely perfume. Perfume? That Scottish queen and the blister at the bottoms of your feet. Aunt Baba. Now, run along, Lizzie, and get me a bottle of beer to take in my bicarbonate. Yes. Oh, hello, Henry. What's the matter with you? Rushing me back here just because Larry got himself engaged to Juliet Runnymede. Juliet Runnymede? 
Won't you sit down? No. Uh, may I? No. Those are my jewelry pistols. Presents from the Maharaja. I taught him to rumba, and he taught me to shoot. Shoot? Shoot. His father, a bunny me. Well, what about him? Juliet is a debutante who came out a little too late, but she has two million dollars. Cowboy taught me to do that. <laughs> it may be loaded. Yes, of course it's loaded. As a matter of fact, Miss Barber, I'm not going to marry Miss Ronnie. Well, I'm rather pleased he isn't going to marry Juliet. There are just as many girls with just as much money who aren't half-witted. Yes, but this girl is no one you know. Well, who is it? Well, she is. She is. If you don't mind, I'll tell you over there. This girl is. What am I aiming at now, Henry? Now? Oh, it's that beautiful inlaid clock. Larry is going to marry... That is, that you stop that double talk, Henry. It certainly doesn't look like a clock to me. No. Oh, yes, there's a clock. You met this girl in a circus. No, that's nothing. I met the Maharaja on a Ferris wheel. But this girl is of the circus. She rides in the circus on a white horse. She dives into a tank. How quaint. She what? She is a circus horseback actress. <laughs> My, what a good shot. The Sultan's horse. Henry, I was not aiming at the horse. I'm going to miss you a lot, Patty, old boy. You know, we don't say goodbye in show business, so I'm just going to slip out when nobody's looking. A lot easier that way. You'll understand, won't you, Patty? <laughs> by myself, but by your co-worker. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is we'll miss you. And with your leaving, we all feel like folding up. But instead, going right on, doing as good a show as we can. Don't ever think that any of us here will ever forget you. As a little tribute, we've... Hey, where is it? Hey, hey, where, where's the property man? Where's oh, that box? Where's the Where's the thing? She's got to wear them all oh, there. <laughs> this is from all of us. From the roustabouts on up. It's, uh, well, we thought of uh, getting you an icebox. But we figure the Warrens have plenty of electric iceboxes. <laughs> something for you to wear when you meet your ritzy relatives. Uh, don't open it until you get there. I'm going to be. Now, 
for it. Wait a minute. Mary. Now, no wait a minute, I know, darling, but you're not supposed to carry me across the threshold. But after the wedding. We're going to be different. Oh, are you sure it's not bad luck? Not for us. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, Barbara? Elizabeth? Henry? Oh. oh, hello, Johnson. Where is everybody? Miss Elizabeth went riding, sir, and won't be back till late. Your aunt gave orders that she's not to be disturbed until the reception. And Mr. Bates went for a long walk. I believe he said, through the swamps. Uh, Johnson, this is my fiancée, Miss Sullivan. Hello, Johnson. How do you do, Miss? Excuse me, sir. Well, Johnson approved. Oh, that's the first hurdle. And this is the second hurdle. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. It's the factory. You mind up me for just one minute, business? Oh, I should say not, darling. This is no time to be losing your job. At 7 o'clock, there will be a light meal served in your room. At 8 o'clock, Miss Barbara Warren will receive you down here in the hall. And if I may say so, Miss, that means 8 o'clock precisely. What a funny way to receive people. Sitting way out there in the middle of nowhere. She's been receiving like that ever since she saw Queen Victoria do it in Buckingham Palace. Hello, baby. Oh, there you are. Yes, here I am. Well, what the... All right. Oh, all right. Now, where is she? She has two minutes yet. She won't be late. She'll probably make up for lost time by riding down the stairs on a white horse. Good heavens, she looks as though she just won the Kentucky Derby. making a grand entrance. In other words, darling, in behalf of the Warrens, welcome to Waverley Hall. I haven't seen that many orchids since those gangster funerals in Chicago. Yes, they're lovely, aren't they? Everybody in the show chipped in. They were a farewell gift. Sentimental for being out too. Well, it does kind of bring them along with me, you know. Huggins and Barney and Egghead. And I suppose that is the tattooed lady. <laughs> <laughs> Let us go into the drawing room. Oh, now I know why you call her the old dragon. Don't worry, darling. Aunt Barbara's bar is worse than her bite. Oh, well, that's some consolation. Johnson, get me a drink. Yes. An old-fashioned with a dash of absinthe. Yes. Muggins. Egghead. Bunny. Oh. First time? You remember Riverbird? Maybe the lock would get in close to you, isn't it? Oh, all right. Don't you dare tell Muggins. I promise. Oh, Fitz. This is up in Miss Sullivan's room. Take great care of him. Watch out for distress signals. You're no never take me eyes off you. Poor little muggins and the tattooed lady had a short life. Sit down. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to be her sister-in-law? Well, thank goodness that'll never happen to you, Miss Judy. Sullivan, Sullivan, what branch of the Sullivan? Oh, my grandfather came from Inniskillen. Oh, the hunting Sullivan. No, the flying Sullivan. The flying Sullivan? Yes, darling, the flying Sullivan. My grandmother was the greatest in Europe. It isn't everyone who can boast of a family tree in which her own grandmother actually swamped. Well, what are we going to do now? Are we going to stay here all night listening to that chamber music? I didn't think we'd need any other entertainment with so much home talent. You'll sing for it, of course, son. I will. Don't tell me you sing, too. Oh, I've really not got very much of a voice. 
Oh, go ahead. I hate people who have to be close. Come on, sing. Larry, will you play for me? You bet I will. You can sit down now and sing. You know what I like to do? Get right in the middle of that floor and shout. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes. yes. Oh, Henry, don't you just love music? Especially the three B's. Three B's? Oh, oh, yes, of course. Bach, Beethoven. And Boogie Woogie. What's she going to sing? Nothing you're apt to know, darling. She's going to sing. Yes? Yes. Here comes your boogie woogie now. Did you tell her that was my favorite song? Aren't I, Miss Barbara? I never said a word. I thought not. On thy cheeks and profaned by a tear. My grandmother learned that song from Tom Moore himself. She's a calculating little wench. Oh, which time will but make more dear. Oh, a heart that has to Fire off, Henry. Fire off. Fire off. We can sing a little song, too. Orchestrated with a checkbook. And I know just the tune to sing. that you take good care of her. She's very valuable. Possibly Miss Sullivan would be interested in Larry's collection of birds. He's stuffed variety. He's been collecting them ever since he was a very small boy. They're in our library. Uh, well, darling, what is it? What is it? Take me away from this bleak party. I'm going to bed. Sit down, please. Sit down right there. Miss Sullivan, as you know, I am the Warren family lawyer. And more or less Larry's guardian, uh, more or less. Yes, you've made that quite clear. Thank you. Has it ever occurred to you how nice it would be to have means of your own? That is to say, to be absolutely independent. Well, no, I've never really thought about that. That's Larry's concern, sure. After all, when two people are very much in love, you know, they just don't discuss those things. Come, come, come. You don't mean to tell me you're really in love with Larry. Strange, isn't it? <clears throat> it's different. I'll have to appeal to you. Hey. You see, you're not the only one who loves him. His family loves him. They want him to be happy. They're, uh, they're jealous. Jealous of those who can contribute to his happiness more than they. Very nicely put. Exactly what I was going to say myself. As you know. Camille, third act. Is it? Oh, that's my soul. So it is. Tell me, how is it possible that you, who's been bobbing around on horses and diving into tanks and a circus girl all your life, would know anything of Camille? My aunt, Kate Sullivan, rocked me to sleep rehearsing. Kate Sullivan? Oh, not the Kate Sullivan. The Kate Sullivan. Oh, no, not the great Kate Sullivan. The great Kate Sullivan. Your aunt? Was my aunt. Not really. Not really. Why, Miss Sullivan, she was a great actress. She was one of the greatest actresses that ever lived. 
Would you believe it that I saw her in Camille in the old Lyceum Theater in London 21 nights in a row? And the last night of all, I sent her a bunch of great big viol... Uh, uh, what were they? Uh, peonies. I'm sure Aunt Katie was very touching. I never forget her in the last scene where she said, I'm not going to live very long, Alma. I shall not live till spring, Alma. Yes, that was it. That was, that was it, yes. And then he said so tenderly, don't be afraid, Camille. Courage, Camille, courage. Oh, of course, that was the famous line, wasn't it, yes? I was needing some of it myself. You remember the final scene? She's tiny, and she handed him the little mirror. Silver mirror? Yes, yes, it was. It was a picture. And she said, if anyone asked you, say, um, Someone who loved you well. Kate Sullivan herself. Oh, you're marvelous. So are you. Aunt Barbara will be delighted when she hears you meet the factory, Miss Sir. Very Henry. She. Poor Henry. I'm beginning to realize why Larry fell in love with you. May I give you a little advice? Hello, darling. I just got away from my Barbara. Good night, Harry. Why, what's the matter? Oh, you promised not to let Elizabeth get you down. Larry, please, in the morning. Sniveling about. Sorry, I can marry with us. Sit down. I frightened you, didn't I, Charlotte? I frighten everybody. Do you know, Sonny? You're the first real human being that's been in this family since Jean the pirate. He was on my side of the family, of course. Want me to roll you up? Oh, no, thank you. Call me Aunt Baba. Go ahead. Try it. From the moment you told me why you wanted to wear those orchids, I knew you had stuff. Why did you send Mr. Bates into? I sent Henry so you could make a fool of him. From what I hear, you did better than I expected. Oh, I only hope Larry is good enough for you. Well, that isn't what I was thinking of a few minutes ago. I know. Planning the courageous exit. Why exit courageously? Why exit at all? Might this help? Now, I want you to promise me that you won't do anything noble and ridiculous before you see Larry. Go on. Promise. I promise. And now, either stamp it out or let it blaze. Bye-bye. I'm a 
spying wanted to be kissing his face. Blind leading the blind. That's what they thought. I'm the black sheep of the family. Well, I better get in now. I dare. Giving me the sniffle. Good night, Aunt Baba. But if you ever tell anybody about me being an old softie, you ought to see me with the Maharaja's dueling pistols. <laughs> Yes, I know. But she's all for you. I know, Larry. But what about all those others? Oh, forget it. They're a tough audience. Honey, they'll be in the palm of your hand before the first tax over. Elizabeth? I'll take care of Lizzie. Look here, darling. I don't care if the whole bunch walk out as long as you walk in. Are you sure, Larry? Am I sure? Are you quite sure? Honey, look at me. Do you love me? Do you mean it? I do. Do you promise to love me always? Forever. Mm -hmm. And never. Mm -hmm. And not for. There are men who love now and then. But they vanish when they hear when it's best place. So you must hold me. It's going to be forever or never. Be beneath a Kate Sullivan. Kate Sullivan, as you know, the late, great Kate Sullivan. And fancy Spangle Swimmer. He numbered among her repertoire such marvelous plays as Camille, Ibsen's Wild Duck, Shaw's Pygmalion. Yeah, today became the bride of Lawrence Warren, millionaire auto manufacturer. After the brilliant ceremony, the young couple left for a honeymoon in Hawaii. <laughs> of course, you can't really say that. They're not even married yet. <laughs> You'll find a list of the bridesmaids and all the other junk on my desk. Something old, that's me. Something new, that's you. Something borrowed, here. That was once a brand new penny that I was to wear in my shoe on my wedding day. Oh, Aunt Barbara, you never know. Nothing told to tell. He was a lieutenant. Handsomest boy you ever saw. I wasn't so bad myself then. Same little thing like you. He heard somewhere that my family didn't think he was good enough for me. We broke it off. You never saw him again. He died last year, a general. Confounded fool. If he hadn't been so stubborn and married me, he'd been commander-in-chief. Papa, they don't know you very well, do they? No. I don't talk my fool head off to everyone. 
You punch that out for me, Russ. I can get to the track this afternoon. Yeah, well, I'll be here for a couple more highballs. Young man, if you were sent to cover a murder, you'd at least have the decency to remain until the crime was committed. My apology. All right. Well, I must go and get the rest of my war paint on. I don't suppose there'll be many more weddings for me in Waverly Hall. Oh, something blue. Number 91. Yes, sir. Here they are. Yeah, they're all here today, the whole blue book. Drop your passengers, park in the rear court, Judge. I wonder what her people are like. My dear, people like that haven't got any people. <laughs> Can you imagine Sunny's surprise when she sees us? Ah, uh, Governor, that's what I call a bow gesture. If I'd had to close the show for three weeks, I wouldn't have missed the wedding. Boy, don't forget the timing. As soon as the I do's are over, I make the announcement. Then Hector comes in with a big horseshoe. <laughs> no. That's what I said, Hector doesn't. We don't in. want Hector till the finale. Well, that will make him awfully angry, boss. We better leave him outside. Muggin, darling. Oh, Muggin, I'm so glad you made it. Wild elephants couldn't keep me away. Oh, how's everyone? Oh, where are they? What's a new girl like? Fair. Patty doesn't like her. You never could pull a horse. Oh, <laughs> Margie! <laughs> Let's have a look at you. <gasps> you look like a million. How do you feel? Terrible. <laughs> Only three lines to the top, but I couldn't be more nervous if I had to go on and play Ophelia. That's fine. Now I know you'll give a great performance. I've tied lots of these askers, Larry, but never on such a memorable occasion. Imagine the niece of the great Kate Sullivan. I'd like to punch this guy. Now, careful. Don't you lose that temper of yours. I had those reporters absolutely eating out of my hand when I told them about Kate. Yes, I know, but some of this stuff's not funny. Why don't you leave us alone? Have you an invitation, sir? Uh, no, but I'd like to see Miss Elizabeth Warren for a moment. Would you sit? Morning, Johnson. Uh, good morning, ma'am. How'd you do, sir? I'm sorry, but as you see, there's a wedding going on. Oh, I know. That's rather important. My name is Billy. A funny Billy. We can. Uh, You'll see that she's ready to leave her room by 11, won't you? Yes. There's a Mr. Billings to see you, miss. He appears to be an itinerant tradesman. Johnson, you know I can't see anyone now. Uh, quite so. Oh, Johnson, did he say his name was Bunny Billings? I believe he did mention a Bunny. I'll see him. Yes. I think Elizabeth is bearing up magnificently. Well, she realizes nothing can stop it now. Haven't you finished this thing yet? Calm down. Now, calm down. That's all you have to do is take your cue from me. There. Now, Larry, when I pull out the ring, why, you were... The ring. The ring? I had it. I had it right there in this pocket. I had it. Well, who's, who's, whose wedding is this? What are you getting nervous about? Let's get your veil on, dear. They want you downstairs in just ten minutes. Oh, if you please. No, no. Fefe showed me exactly how you want it put on. Will you give that to me? What would Fefe know about dressing Sonny Sullivan? That's been my job ever since I made her first little ballet skirt. Oh, Mrs. DePeister. This is Mrs. Muggins. He used to help me in the show. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, uh, would you mind? Certainly not, if you wish it. She wishes it. Just ten minutes. All right. Well, she won't miss her cue. Do you know, Egghead, all my life I've wanted to be in the circus. Not really. You know, Winnie all wanted to be out of one. Oh, how quaint. <laughs> Killing you. <laughs> Listen, fellas, you're all in here on passes. No tricks. Don't worry, Governor, the monkeys and the elephants will be performing for us today. Major, I said no tricks. Johnson? Be nonchalant, boys. That means in French, wire. I didn't know they 
were coming. I was prepared for anything, but not this. Should have brought a radiator. Don't worry, Major. They'll thaw. Oh. How do I look? Oh, if we could only have a magenta spotlight. You look so happy. Loggins, I am happy. And I'm happy, too. Oh, darling. Not like you to cry. Cry? <laughs> well, that crying way can get a load of me at the wedding. Uh oh, Loggins. <laughs> oh, run down, darling. I want to know how I look when I come down. Just send the bride a sealskin coat. So what? Nothing, only you just walked in. Walked in. Victor, <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't you know there's a wedding going on? Hi, <laughs> <Our> Major. <laughs> well, how do you do? Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, the minute I spotted that seal, I knew I'd seen your face before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, meet the governor, Bully Billings. Remember me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who are you? I used to cover Baltimore for variety. Caught your act in Washington. Yeah, so you did. Uh, had the pigeons then. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, of course. They were drafting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they booked a wedding out of half-baked loudmouth animal act. Oh, Egghead, I just adore show talk. How about giving us a break? A few pictures on the society page would be a big help. Why not? How about it, fellas? Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Miss, get in this All thing right, here. Yeah. Trying to steal a show, huh? We just were you join the circus. Well, smear that guy with a mahatcha. Well, smear him with a mahatcha? The mahatcha, it's a dance. Oh, but I can't dance. Don't have to dance. You just come along for the ride. Get out of the way, Major. Here we come. Jive, gypsies, jive. Elizabeth, the ring. Have you got the ring? Of course not. You have it. No, no, I have it. I have it in this pocket all the time, but now it's... It... Oh, yes, look. It must have been in this pocket all the time. <laughs> oh, dear.
the matter with you? Are you drunk? I'm trying to find out. Well, will you stop it? Never did I think I'd see the day when a seal would be waltzing around in Waverly Hall. Yes, now I know you're drunk. Oh, I wish I were. I tell you, you've got to do something. About what? About the seal, about the acrobats, about Juliet running me, doing the Mahuchka with fried egg roast about. What are you talking about? Down seal upstairs in your drawing room. Can you come downstairs right away, dear? The bunch. They're ad living all over the parlor. The bunch? It was supposed to have been a surprise for you, but it's gone all fluey. <laughs> But I can't. It's Larry's season before the wedding. It's bad luck. It'll be worse luck if you don't come down, darling. All right. Mr. Warren, how about one with you and the seal? I'm sorry, Mr. Warren. I, I guess we kind of broke things up. Get out. All right. Shut up. Let... Get out or I'll throw you out. Hey, Rube. Lay off. Warren, you know what hey, Rube means? In exactly two minutes, where well, Waverly Hall once stood. But don't worry. We're going, quietly. But only on account of Sonny. Look, mister, take your train seal and your monkeys and get going. Larry! Don't interrupt me. But Larry, these are my... Get you out of this sort of thing. You don't have to marry me to get me out of anything. Now, Sonny, keep out of this. It's bad enough without you making a scene. Me making a scene? Isn't that what's been expected of me ever since I came here? Wasn't well, I supposed to come riding in on a white horse or sliding down a tightrope? Take it easy, Sonny. It'll be all right as soon as I get the gang out. Oh, wait a minute, buddy. My friends are staying. Your friends are going. All right. I'm going, too. <laughs> I wouldn't trade one of them for a whole bunch of snobs you call your friends. We've been thrown out before. Run out of tank towns and two cent carnivals. But we always stuck together, and that's the way it is now. Then we'd better call it off until you come to your senses. Don't worry. I'd come to my senses just in time. I'm glad this happened when it did. If that's the way you feel. Funny. Hold your horses, Sonny. We've got to straighten this out. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's leave him on a laugh. Get some water, Muggins. Oh, no, I don't want the water. Russ, kill that wedding copy I gave you. Now, the impressive ceremony just turned into a brawl with seals, acrobats, elephants. No, I haven't been drinking, and the bride and groom are having a knockdown drag out in the middle of it. Honey, why did you bring them in before the wedding? Oh, that Warren dame, uh, Lizzie, insisted. Come on, I'm all right. Sonny, you may need this. Thank you. I'm quite sure you need this. <laughs> Wow! The charming bride just kicked her sister-in-law right in the middle of the lobby. Oh, it's Father. She kicked me. Who did? Sonny. Sonny? Oh, well, that's what I always wanted to do myself. What's going on here? It's all off, Aunt Barbara. What is? Oh, everything. Operator. Operator. Too late! But you gotta kill it! Hang up down there. I want the police. This is important. Hang up yourself! Miss Ross, I'm not kidding. She kicked your sister in the lobby and the wedding's all off! The wedding is off? Oh, get me the police. Get me the fire department. Get me an aspirin. Would you care to make a statement for the press, Miss Warren? Young man, for once in my life, I have nothing to say. Don't, Muggins. It's all right. Oh, but it does. We broke it up, and I can't bear it. It doesn't matter, Muggins. I guess I'm not much good at drawing room stuff. This is where I belong. You'd belong anywhere, Sonny. Oh, yes, you would. Something borrowed. <laughs>
How's everything? Oh, fine. Just as though I've never been away. How's the house? It's breaking my heart. Turning away by the hundreds. No. Every seat gone. Could have sold out three times over. That is wonderful. Hey, a minute. There she goes. I'll be waiting for you. Right. Come on, Morgan. I hear they couldn't even give the mayor any seats. Well, it's a good thing somebody's still interested. Sonny Sullivan, if you're still thinking about this... I'm not. Say you're not. How you could think you could get along without all this. I must have been crazy. I'll say you were. Doors open. Once more, then we'll break it up. I should say so. Rehearsing for three weeks and every day it gets worse. Two little bluebirds love two other bluebirds, but those two are true birds at four. Five minutes, Sonny. I'm ready. There's a riot at the box office. They want tickets I haven't got. I had to call out the police. Oh, that's swell. Look, well, if I can draw a crowd like this by doing a few stunts, I might get them to come and see me in a legitimate show. Of course you could. It means a lot of hard work, though. Well, that's the idea. Oh, you know, Aunt Kate always used to say every actress needed a kick in the pants before she amount to anything. You gave Lizzie enough of a jolt to make her a Sarah Bernhardt. change to your sunshine costume? Oh, sure. Why? What's the idea? I'll tell you what I want to do. I'm going to hold a parade for the finale. Start with my new number, then sunshine. I don't want them to see you until then. It'll be a sock opening for you. Oh, buddy, you're a darling. Thanks. Come on, Patty, you can relax. we got to step in it. You've got to hurry, honey. We've only got about two minutes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like Bunny giving me such a break on a night like this?
Hawkins. Are they standing them up yet out there? I can't see a thing with all those spotlights on Bunny. They're so quiet. You've never had a better audience in your life. Good luck, Sonny. Oh, thanks. Go on. Think of all those other fellows. Not one of them would ever have walked out on a performance. Not one of them ever played to an empty house. When I say empty, I mean empty. Go and tell him that. Muggins, you knew about this. Me? Oh, Sonny. Well, I'm sorry, but if he buys it, every house I play, now still little say. Well, I think you ought to go back. But well, I'm not going back, Muggins. I'm going straight ahead. I've made up my mind. Stock in Connecticut. Broadway. Sounds awfully dull to me.
would you like to join my show? Offering half interest in water to streamline Chopo. Huh? Right and going up, Miss Sullivan. Hey, Sonny, take a look at the shore. I've got them right up and hit a natchez. Honey girl, you're my honey girl, I'm home. 